Vieira from Shabini, who just seems slightly rattled at the moment. I think that's the intensity and everything that Torquay brings to the court, really. There was a perfect example of the sheer pace off the front wall because it beat El Torquay hands down with the pace into that back left hand corner and just gave the dominant position to Shabini and she doesn't really miss from there. Yeah. There you go, not a bad way to finish the first game. was caused because of the hold she actually got the opponent committing in one direction before the other I think that's almost what happened here but El Torquay carried on going forwards unfortunately well hopefully for, uh, Shabini she's already got one ankle brace yeah, so hopefully, hopefully she Shabini doesn't need another okay. one oh baby she does that's not pretty right People actually, uh, sometimes when they get little injuries and little niggles or stuff, it can make you actually concentrate as well if you don't want to move too much. Well, that will do Torquay the world of good. Well, game balls for Norel Shabini. There you go. Lovely finish to the game from the world number one. Two match balls for the world number one. When there is another hold from Shabini. Quality stuff against someone that was really putting up a fine challenge in El Torquay. So it's Norel Shabini who advances, beating Hebel Torquay. Three games to love, 11-8, 11-4, 11-8.